There's a new effort underway in Congress to ban what once sounded like science fiction, a gun built using a printer. Yeah, but now a group says they've done just that and they have posted instructions on how to do it on the Internet. Chris Van Cleve joins us with that story. Chris. Well, Gordon, you may remember the movie In the Line of Fire, where a bad guy was fixated on building a wood and plastic gun to get past metal detectors so he could assassinate the president, only to be foiled by Clint Eastwood as a Secret Service agent. Well, that moment of fiction just got a little bit more real thanks to 3D printing technology. With that shot, 3D printing just got lethal. Print and shoot your own homemade plastic gun has been the goal of Cody Wilson for more than a year, a weapon that in theory would not set off a metal detector. That was always the goal. The, the entire goal from the beginning was can you print a gun on a 3D printer? Can you do it? His group, Defense Distributed, claims success at printing working plastic high capacity magazines and even a lower receiver for an AR-15. Yesterday, with Wilson pulling the trigger, it posted this video showing off the Liberator, a working plastic gun made from an $8,000 3D printer. Today, the Liberator's blueprints are online for anyone to download. How's that national conversation going? According to Forbes.com, Wilson's team used a metal nail as a firing pin and added a piece of steel to conform to the existing Undetectable Firearms Act. But there's no guarantee others will do the same. New York Senator Chuck Schumer is now joining those in Congress calling for 3D printed guns to be made illegal. A terrorist, someone who's mentally ill, a spousal abuser, a felon, can essentially open a gun factory in their garage. And the only thing they need, a computer, and a little over a thousand dollars. Glen Burnie resident Travis Larrell showed us in February he's able to print parts for his AR-15 from this small 3D printer he keeps in his spare bedroom. Well, I don't think there's any practical danger of somebody printing an untraceable weapon, and even if they did, the round would most certainly set off metal detectors. Now Schumer joins New York Representative Steve Israel in pushing for the Undetectable Firearms Act to be renewed and updated to address 3D printed guns. That law expires at the end of this year. Now just three days ago, Staples announced it would start selling 3D printers online and in stores this month. Gordon?